أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله أهله والصلاة على أهلها رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي صلى الله عليه وسلم على محمد وعلى طيبين الطاهرين المعصومين I begin this talk of mine in the name of Allah the supreme absolute being He is Rahman and He is Rahim Uh, we have been discussing the body of Islamic knowledge, the three major components, the Islamic teachings, the sources, and then the disciplines and subjects which are uh, studied in the Islamic body of knowledge. Of course, when we talk about the disciplines and subjects, we have mentioned twice or thrice in the previous sessions that Basically, when we are talking about the disciplines, we mean those subjects or those fields of study which have been developed and compiled through human endeavor to understand and to find out the Islamic teachings from their sources, whether it is the Quran or Sunnah or the intellect. Now here, I would like to point out that when we talk about disciplines and subjects, they are all a result of the compilation, the development of uh, the disciplines and subjects in any field of study and research are basically a result of human endeavor, whether they are the sciences, whether they are the human sciences, the natural sciences, or even religious subjects and disciplines. We are, in all of these fields, we are moving gradually to new frontiers of understanding, to the, uh, the understanding of, of the universe, of the earth and the world at the time of Aristotle was much more different from what we today understand about the universe. Again, when we are talking about the human sciences, when we are talking about psychology, when we are talking about sociology, when we are talking about uh, these various issues, in the, that field we are talking about physics, chemistry, biology, whatever. Here we are talking about those sciences which are pertain to the human being, anthropology, or the subjects that pertain to philosophy and arts, social sciences, uh, as, uh, or for example, um, language, culture, these various disciplines, they are much more advanced as a result of the human endeavor, the human curiosity to uh, find out more and more about them himself, about uh, the, uh, his society, about the world, the endeavor of the human being to understand reality, what exists, what is the human behavior, what is human nature, what is the nature of the world. In all these fields, we are progressing gradually. In the same manner, when we talk about the religious sciences and disciplines, of course, we do not use the words uh, science for religion because uh, science has a general connotation which would include subjects of, religious, uh, uh, of a religious identity but when we use the word science, the connotation is sometimes just limited to the natural sciences. So when it comes to, the, when we use the word religious science, uh, one may find, may think that we are talking about uh, uh, phys physics or chemistry in the Islamic context. No. Therefore, it's better to use the word Islam religious disciplines or subjects. In any case, when you're talking about these disciplines, here again we find that there is a great deal of progress and advancement in the understanding of the Islamic teachings. There is a development of these subjects. And as a result of human endeavor, the scholars of Islam and religion have continuously refined their understanding of the Islamic teachings and their application and whatever. So uh, here it is uh, again a result of human endeavor. Whether it is the science, whether we are talking about the natural sciences like physics, chemistry, biology, or we're talking about the human sciences, social sciences, arts, culture, language, in all of these, 
the matter which is being discussed and whether we're talking about the religious issues, religious sciences or subjects, the, the matter which is being discussed, the subject which is being discussed is either a creation of God or a revelation of God. So in that sense, everyone engaged in the study of these words and works of Allah Almighty is engaged in a divine activity. Because every one of us is trying to understand what God Almighty has created or what he has revealed in the form of his words. And they can also be used interchangeably. Even in the Quran, you find the usage of the word kalima. Kalima means word for things that have been created by Allah Almighty. The word ayah and sign is used for it. The word ayah is used for existential and physical signs. The word ayah is also used for the uh, revealed verses of the Quran. So, in any case, everything is taking us towards our Creator. The scientist, if he's trying to unravel the mysteries of the physical world, he is trying to unravel the works, understand the works and the creations of Allah Almighty. That is when it becomes true knowledge, when it becomes beneficial knowledge. If it does not, if science, the study of science or human, whether natural sciences, human sciences, if it is not somehow leading us to our Creator, it is not beneficial. In the same manner, religion subjects are studied, the verses, the words of Allah Almighty are studied, the Quran is studied, the Sunnah is studied. They are all signs leading us to our Creator and how to worship Him and how to become His obedient servant. Therefore, we find that uh, all disciplines that have been developed by mankind, the end result should be the understanding of our Creator, to acquiring knowledge of the Creator, to understand His works and become divine, and understand that we are his, one of His creations, and we have to become like Him and divine. This is the whole purpose of our intellectual and rational inquiry and discovery. So, basically, the subject matter is divine. The effort is human, a human effort. It is prone to uh, mistakes and errors, and we have to remove those errors. We have to refine those errors. So, human endeavors, if you may call them secular efforts, which are prone to, to mistakes and errors, it is even the case in, in religious subjects. Many things have been understood today which we had, not, we had understood differently in previous times about Islamic teachings. Therefore, there, those mistakes have been removed and tomorrow other mistakes, other time, uh, in the future, uh, the mistakes of the previous generations will be removed in the understanding of Islam and religion. But the effort is uh, a human effort, so it is, uh, uh, there are po possibilities of making mistakes. Therefore, we have the same way we have a difference of opinion or many differences of opinions in the, in, in the sciences. We may also have uh, differences of opinion regarding the understanding of the realities, the religious realities. As just as the existential realities, physical realities, are a constant, but our understanding may be different or may not correspond to reality. In the same way, uh, when we find a mujtahid, a faqih, making an opinion which is differing from the opinion of his colleague, so the reality is not changing, it is, uh, it is constant. The understanding of one person is mistaken. One person is making an error. There is no doubt about it. This is because it is uh, the issue of human, the human error, the human factor is there. So there is a possibility of removing the errors, refining our efforts to understand reality. It is, the reality is the same, it is the work of Allah, it is, it is divine, there is no change in it. It has an understanding which may differ. 
which way vary, which way progress. At the time we understood it, that was our knowledge about it. That is what we call, we said it is our knowledge. We accepted it to be our knowledge. When we tomorrow change our opinion, now our knowledge has changed. The thing has not changed. We have progressed, we have understood more. So therefore, in this sense, when we talk about the classification of uh, uh, human sciences and disciplines, we have to consider all of these on one plane as, as far as the understanding of the divine reality is concerned. Of course, the picture which is given to us of the, through the sciences is just limited to the physical world. It's not the complete picture. It has to be completed. It has to be complemented by the religious perspective. Otherwise, this picture will remain incomplete. Yes, it will take us towards the Lord, but it will not give us a complete picture Therefore, it has to be complemented.